In this activity, you will create beautiful curved shapes from straight lines using mathematical mapping. The shapes you will make are called epicycloids. You can draw your epicycloid or make one from yarn or string. Epicycloids are the shapes we get when we roll a circle around another circle. If both circles are the same size, a fixed point on the moving circle will trace this shape, called a cardioid. If the moving circle has a radius half the size of the fixed, we get a shape called a nephroid. With a 3 to 1 ratio, we get an epicycloid with three lobes, called an epicycloid of Cremona. Download a template from the Mathematics of Waves and Materials website. To draw your epicycloid, you will need a ruler and coloured pens or pencils. You are going to connect points on the circle with straight lines. In the table, fill in the number you are going to connect each point to. If you want to draw a cardioid, you will join each point to a point two times its number value. We say we are mapping point n to point 2n, or 2 times n. I am using the 50 point template. When you get to point 26, which maps to 52, subtract 50 from the number you need. Point 2 now represents 52. Point 10 is now point 60. This is called modular arithmetic. Use a ruler to join the points according to your table. 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 3 to 6, 4 to 8, and so on. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Small mistakes won't show up much, and mistakes can be beautiful. The last line connects 49 to 48. Your beautiful cardioid is finished. Here is one made with 100 points. Here is a nephroid made by mapping n to 3 times n. To make a string art cardioid, you will need cardboard, scissors, glue and thread, string or yarn. Glue the template onto cardboard and ask an adult to help you cut around the numbers in a circle. Now cut a notch through each number to the dot. Knot the end of your thread and starting at point 1, bring the thread out through the groove at 1 and into the groove at point 2. For the next connection, we are going to work in the opposite direction. Run the thread behind your work and bring it out at 4 and connect it to point 2. Now bring the thread out at 3 and connect 3 to 6. Then, working the opposite way, bring the thread out at 8 and connect it to 4. Continue around the circle in this way, making every second connection in the opposite direction. This cardioid is made with embroidery floss. I mapped each point n to point 4 times n to make this epicycloid of Cremona using sewing thread. Download a template and have a go. If you share your creations, don't forget to tag us at MWM Maths.